Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. It's not quite a bushcrafting knife, but we're delving into EDC and defensive carry. So today we're taking a look or an overview at the BTG or Black Triangle Group Senka G10 knife. Let's jump right into it. Now, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon. It does all help quite a ton, and your support of the channel is very appreciated. Now, when jumping into the Senka, which is what this knife here is called, this is one of Black Triangle Group or BTG's original designs from when they were previously another company or went by another name. Now, this company, for those who don't know, is essentially a very interesting company. They do a little bit of everything that relates to self-defense. They make Kydex holsters, obviously G10 knives, teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and they occasionally make steel knives as well, which I may feature on the channel in the future. We'll see about that. But for sure, they are probably one of the, at least in my opinion and from my research, one of the better G10 knife makers. Now, you might be asking yourself, why in the world do I want a G10 knife when I can get something made out of steel that is much, much better? And this is very true. Steel is much better for things like edge retention and things such as... For things such as edge retention and overall performance but what a g10 knife is primarily there for or to offer is to be a non-metallic knife so essentially what that means is that this blade will not be picked up on things like metal detectors and therefore it makes it very good to carry in non-permissive environments and i think that that's probably the best way to put it uh, now obviously there's no endorsement or encouragement to carry something that you you shouldn't carry in places that are clearly labeled not to but if you are like many of us on this channel uh, you definitely want to take your self-protection into your own hands and while certain you know police may have quick response times or you know security groups may be present obviously no one is as good at protecting you as yourself and because you are going to be the one being the victim you will be the most apt to respond to it so having a knife for non-permissive environments that will not be picked up on metal detectors or you know that is a non-magnetic knife is very very handy and as far as it goes when it comes down to this knife itself this is going to be more of a strict kind of stabby type knife obviously being g10 this does not have an edge though you could certainly put an edge on both sides it is ground you know uh, both top and bottom but this is really designed to be more of a dagger type dagger styled blade where you're primarily going to be using the tip now the tip on this blade is pretty good and it does definitely come down to a fine fine point it is still fairly thick at the very tip but hopefully you guys can see here I'm trying to do the best to show you the thickness here but you guys can see there hopefully that it is pretty overall thin and very very sharp at the tip so this is primarily designed for stabbing obviously it's not really going to slash and even if you did grind down the g10 to an edge you may be able to slash with it a little bit but of course that edge is going to be very fragile very frail and break so of course this blade really isn't designed to open boxes or you know your letters this is not really designed to be an edc type of knife in regards to a traditional knife like say this hinderer here you know that this is what you're going to more traditionally think of as a general you know edc knife for doing tasks that you might do daily however the senka is going to be very good at self-protection and once again with it in mindset being a fully non-metallic blade it also has a non-metallic sheath setup and i really do like the way that they do this of course as i mentioned uh btg makes kydex holsters for firearms so of course they make kydex holsters for their knives and it has great retention especially for how lightweight this thing is it's not going to come out but the other thing I like here is that they really did think about the attachment mechanisms. So how you have this set up is it's essentially on a bungee cord or a light kind of duty bungee cord that is tensioning the um, 
belt clip or pocket clip or whatever you want to clip this to and so this is a completely non-metallic setup there is no metal anywhere on this whole setup now of course depending on your applications you could always take this belt clip off and run a different type of setup you could always put bolts through this and make the sheath metallic but of course i'd be kind of defeating the purpose unless the alternative purpose to this is just having a super lightweight setup of course being the fact that there is no metal here and metal regardless to whether it's titanium or steel or aluminum are definitely going to be heavier options this is a super super lightweight option so if you do uh, run different types of outfits that might not be able to support the heft of a steel uh, blade or a steel firearm this is another good option for that and in that case you might be able to throw you know a metal bolt through there to clamp this to the sheath certainly something you could do but the way they have this set up is completely designed to be non-metallic and non-detectable so that is a real plus for me and i really like the way that they thought it through and overall it's pretty solid of course this belt clip here hopefully you guys can see does have some play to it because it's literally just being held in by this uh this rope or this uh this uh, bungee here so of course it does have some play but within reason you know that's about its maximum travel distance so if anything it actually might be a little bit better because it will adjust in a move it will adjust and move according to your body so if you're sitting down standing up running sprinting doing whatever this is a pretty cool setup and overall pretty awesome definitely a really cool tool i don't think it's necessarily applicable for every situation in life and of course i would not say that this uh, replaces a firearm for everyday carry but it is a pretty good non-permissive environment type of defensive tool now lastly we'll talk about is the handle here and uh, the handle is a kind of nylon cordage wrapped uh piece of g10 of course this is just one solid piece of g10 and as you guys can probably see it looks a little bit shiny there that is because they epoxied the handle or the cordage to the handle and i will say i really do like what they did here it is very solid and while it may look like it's just cord wrapped and you know you might think oh that cord's just gonna slide off or slide around but they epoxied it in place and this cord is absolutely solid the cordage for this handle is not going anywhere and it definitely does its intended effect it provides a lot of traction and is very tacky to the feel but is very cemented in place so if you are going to use it uh, you're definitely not going to worry you're definitely not going to have to worry about any type of slipping out of the handle so that is the setup for the handle and for the blade once again you could modify this to give it a cutting edge i probably wouldn't recommend that just because it really wouldn't be that effective and it would you know further weaken the blade but for a close-up self-defense instrument for not permissive environments i think you'd be hard pressed to really go with anything or find anything much better than what btg offers now of course this is the senka this is one of their first designs for a uh, for a self-defense blade and i think they actually first made this in steel before they made it in g10 so this is one of their older designs but they are also uh, producing a number of newer de designs such as the serval which is a kind of updated take to this one which i might actually end up ed adding to the list um, they also have the midnight creepers they have like mark two through mark five with different modifications and the midnight creepers are pretty cool they're definitely more of a dagger style than this this is this blade along with the serval are more kind of traditional knife-esque looking uh, self-defense tools but the midnight creeper definitely looks more like a dagger and the only reason i didn't initially go with the midnight creeper is it had kind of a um it kind of had a interesting design for the back of the tag to kind of help you pull it out and that seems cool but i like the way that this one rides it definitely minimally prints so this isn't going to snag on any of your clothes if you're wearing it under clothing and it's going to be very minimalistic if someone sees this you know printing on the inside of your clothing they're not going to think of much so this one i think is a little bit more subtle and it's still in a pretty good length you know this thing's around seven inches 
is overall. So not too bad, very concealable and very carryable. So that is the Sunka by Black Triangle Group. And I would expect more or to see more BTG G10 knives and maybe even some of their steel knives showing up on the channel because I really think that these guys do a pretty bang up job with their self-defense tools and knives. And I think they're pretty cool pretty hard to beat so overall if you guys are looking at something for a non-permissive environment i would highly recommend checking out btg and looking at some of their designs the senka is my favorite of their designs but once again they make the midnight creeper the senka and a few other the senka the midnight creeper and a serval and a few others uh, so there's definitely a number of designs to choose from to find what you are looking for or what you might be uh, most capable in running or what might fit your needs the best. So that is all I have to say about this little guy. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, God bless and I'm out.